guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today's video I'm so excited to film because it is a perfume favorite. Perfumes I'll talk about have been the perfumes that I've been wearing non-stop for the last like about two months and I was going to actually film an updated collection video because you guys have been asking me to do so but I filmed one... I think a little bit less than a year ago and then back in January I did um, a huge declutter and you saw most of my collection there. I have added new scents since but I decided to wait to film the collection because I am going to Paris in four weeks and that's of course like where all the most beautiful perfume houses are from and I will for sure be picking up some perfumes there and so I figured I'll wait and then do an updated collection after the trip like around around fall time. I still wanted to do perfume videos because I love to do them, I love to watch them, I know you guys enjoy them as well and so I figured I'll do a favorite because I've literally, I've had like a group of perfumes that I've been wearing non-stop every day sometimes two at the same time like i cannot get enough and i wanted to share them with you after i share those i also have a perfume unboxing where i will be unboxing and trying two new scents that i got that i've literally been on like pins and needles to try them they got here on monday and it's friday and i like was looking at the box wanting to open it but i didn't because i wanted to do it on camera and then at the end i will be doing a giveaway because i did one in my july favorites and you guys loved it so much and i I know I will be doing giveaways like every favorites video. I'll give away something that I talk about in the video, but I also decided to incorporate giveaways in random videos in between favorites as well, just because you guys were so excited and it like made me so happy too. So I'll do that at the end, but let's just go ahead and get into the perfumes. I did take some notes so that I can read the perfume notes for every perfume for you um in case like you know they help you decide whether or not it would be a perfume you would like they don't help me much but i know they help a lot of you guys so i wrote them down and let's just go ahead and jump right in george will probably start snoring at some point just heads up um so the first perfume is burberry weekend and this perfume i got i think last was it last summer like before last summer my friend actually um got it as a gift and she didn't like it and she asked me if i want it and i said sure i'll take it and i smelled it at first and i wasn't the biggest fan i don't know why i cannot get enough of it now it just is it like brings me to like another state of mind it puts you in such a good mood i don't know what's in there that just is so intoxicating I spray it all over and I just literally cannot get enough. Like I keep sniffing my arm. I keep sniffing my shirt whenever I wear it. The notes in here are tangerine, tree sap, peach, iris, nectarine, rose, and sandalwood. I would say this is very, very upbeat, very happy, very like you're having a good day and that's what you would wear. Um, it's also very feminine. There's peach in the notes and I've never, I don't think I've ever had a perfume that had peach in the notes. So maybe that's like the intoxicating, very different part um, that I smell in here because it definitely has something that I've never smelled in any other perfumes before. It's called The Weekend and that's literally what you would think of when you smell it. Just a summer weekend in the sun, outside, at the beach or like in your backyard doing a cookout. Like that's what you think of. It's just a happy, summery, feminine scent. Like I've been wearing it almost every single day and I spray it like on my work bag sometimes. I'll spray it on my clothes. I just cannot get enough. So Burberry Weekend. And I also used to get headaches from Burberry perfumes. I've had a bunch of other ones and I could just never wear them. This one doesn't do that, so. Next one is a brand new one that I've never talked about on my channel and it's called Neroli Lumiere and it's by the brand uh, Bast Bastide? Bastide? I'll put the name below. Um, I basically got it because the name says Neroli and I love Neroli. It's an extract from Italian oranges and this one, the notes for this are bergamot, tangerine, just like the other one, uh, lychee, peony, violet, amber, musk, and cashmere. Um, to me, this is very like kind of like musky citrusy. It's also very, it smells like jasmine, even though jasmine wasn't listed as one of the notes. To me, I really get a hint of it. So I don't know if it's because of some other notes that mixed up and kind of smell like it, or if there is jasmine, they just didn't list it. I'm not sure, but 
it's very like invigorating and very fresh and it smells like something that you would wear if you go to the south of France and you go on a boat and you just like swim along the coastline like that's what this makes me think of it's very very strong this is not for the faint of heart you will definitely smell it for hours on end when i first got it in the mail i just kind of went to town and i sprayed it everywhere and i just could not like it was so much so all you need is one little spray and i love that the travel sizes that they have um are sprays and not roller balls so i really love that and i think this would last me honestly forever the next one i've talked about before but i had to bring it up again because i think it's one of the best perfumes i've ever smelled in my whole entire life and that says a lot because i have so many and i've tried so many and that's the versace arrows for women this is the actual perfume they also have um eau de toilette which is i think this is like more clear this I got from my mom and I used to never be a fan of Versace perfumes. They always smelled a little too like youthful, a little too like Juicy Couture like for me. Uh, my sister loves them, my best friend loves them, but they just were never for me. But this one, I would never think to even smell it in the store just because I just didn't think that I would like anything Versace. When I got this, oh my god. Honestly, like I cannot think of words. To describe how amazing this is you just have to go and smell it uh the notes in here are sicilian lemon which i love bergamot i think every single one that i've listed so far has bergamot pomegranate jasmine peony and musk how do i describe it it's it's like it's musky but it's very youthful at the same time it's not like heavy musk it's like fresh musk if that's even a thing. It's a very luxurious smelling. It's very vibrant. This, I could literally bathe in it. I could spray it head to toe and I would never get a headache. I would never get tired of it. I just adore this so much. And I used a lot of it already. This was actually the perfume, one of the three perfumes that I wore for my wedding day because I just couldn't decide. So this was one of them. I wore it to my rehearsal dinner, to um, a lot of my wedding events. And so it makes me think of like that wedding time, which makes it even more special. I think the, um, the bottle is beautiful, it has a Medusa head. This is something that as long as they keep making it, it will be in my collection literally forever. It's amazing. The next one is a brand new one that Peter, my husband, picked out for me for my birthday. He most recently got me one for Christmas. It was the Toca Colette. And so he said he went to Sephora and he figured he'll get me another Toca perfume because he loved them. And he got me the Toca Gia. And this is, I think, one of their brand new um, perfumes that they came out with. I haven't seen it before. And this one honestly is not something I would ever pick out for myself. It's not something I would think that I would normally like. However, when he picked it out, like first of all, it makes it special for me because he picked it out all by himself. He's not really one to go and pick out perfume. It's very personal and like he gets nervous about that, but he picked it out himself. And um, the notes in here are peppercorn, tangerine, Turkish rose, amber, and vanilla. Um, rosy perfumes are not something I normally gravitate towards and this one first of all it's very strong like right off the bat when you smell it it's very sexy it's a warm floral but with a little bit of spice so it's kind of like a spicy musky rose and honestly when I smell this even before so we went to New York for my birthday weekend and I took it with me but even before we went there when I smelled this I was like if this perfume represented a city it would be New York City at nighttime like going out to a fancy dinner wearing all black and high stilettos I don't know it just this just makes me think of New York and normally again like i'm not really into rosy perfumes but i really like it and when you spray it it's very strong at first but when it settles down it's like this beautiful warm floral that really is just so like i don't know it's just like so comfortable to wear and the one thing with toka which i've noticed with other perfumes that i have from them is they don't last very long and so you do have to either reapply it or get like a little travel size bottle 
Um, so that's the only thing, but I think they're so beautiful. The bottles are gorgeous and the caps are handmade and they're all a little bit different, which I think is so cool. So I really, really like it. And actually this one reminds me of a little bit of the Lancome one, La Vie is Belle, something like that. Um, you know, like the Lancome one with like the little bow on the top. That's what this reminds me of. It's very sexy and strong and a little bit musky so it's definitely more of a nighttime perfume than a daytime but i wear it pretty much all the time Whew. i had to turn the ac off in here so it's not loud and it's getting hot the next one and the last one is this gizu honey infused hair perfume by nagin mirzalehi and she is a fashion blogger and she has like this huge following on instagram and the most beautiful hair in the world and i actually have on my channel a review of this perfume where i talk about the packaging the notes how long it lasts all of that if you want to check it out um but i just wanted to mention it because i have been wearing it a lot and i just think it's the most beautiful sweet honey scent there is like i've never smelled a honey perfume that smells as nice and as true and natural as this one it reminds me of my honeymoon uh not because i had it for my honeymoon but when i got back it was waiting in the mail and i sprayed it like right away the day that we got back and now it just makes me think of saint lucia it's very sweet but it's not like sugar sweet it's honey sweet it smells like a garden of flowers covered by honey and it lasts for a long time in your hair it makes your hair smell nice but at the same time it's healthy for your hair i used a lot of it as you can see and i really like it i love the packaging um this is the 3.4 i think yeah the 3.4 fluid ounces it is expensive it's 85 dollars to me it's totally worth it and i just love like the old school vibes of the packaging and just the brand overall and i have the hair oil too and i love it so that concludes the five perfume favorites for the last like like a month to two and now moving on to the unboxing which i'm like so excited about um this part of the video is in collaboration with sandbox and this is a perfume subscription um service that you can get every single month and you can try new scents and basically I've been contacted by a lot of perfume subscription brands before and I've never said yes. I never wanted to collaborate because they always just, it was kind of like a sales pitch and I don't really do that. Like I am not a salesperson. I'm not, I'm very raw on my channel. I'm very just not scripted and I never felt like it's a good fit. But when Sandbox reached out to me, they told me that basically their campaign is not to sell it's just to let people know that they're out there they're a newer brand um and they want people to be aware that they exist so that if anyone does decide to sign up for a perfume subscription box they know that sandbox is one of the choices that they have and literally they didn't tell me what to say to you they didn't tell me what to show you they just said all we want is for you to just tell people that we're out there and then give your honest opinion. And I really like that because again, like I said, I'm not a salesperson and I never want you guys to feel like I'm pushing something onto you, you know? Um, so I said, yes, of course, I'd love to collaborate with you. They sent me a list of the perfumes that they have and I picked two that one of them I really wanted to try for a long time, but I just never, like I've never seen it in a store. My mall doesn't have a store that carries it. And then the other one is something that I just wanted to try out really mainly for you guys. I normally probably wouldn't pick it out myself just because it's a summary scent and I thought a lot of you might be interested in like kind of seeing a review of it and knowing like what it smells like. So I'll do an unboxing on the camera. I'll try it out with you and tell you a little bit about the perfumes. And before I do that, so I'll tell you a little bit about Sandbox first, just in case you're interested. You can get two different types of um, subscription. You can get one perfume a month or two perfumes a month. Um, the one perfume a month is $14.95 and two are $19.95. And what they do, what's like a little bit different about them is that if you don't like one of the perfumes, you can exchange it. So you are not stuck with like a month's worth of a perfume that you don't like. You can send it back for free and they'll send you something new that you choose, which I really like. I also like that you can get two for $19.95. I feel like that's a pretty good deal. Um, I think they're having a special now where it's like 15 for two and I think 12 for one. Um, I'll leave their website if you want to check it out and see for yourself. And um, also what they told me is that they really, they recognize that a lot of subscription boxes out there, which is 
Also, the reason why I didn't decide to work with any of them in the past is that they don't have the best um, customer service, they get bad reviews, it's hard to cancel them if you choose to, and they said that it's really important for them to make sure that they have the best customer service team, that if you want to cancel, you can, you don't have problems with it, you don't get overcharged, like they wanna basically just make sure that they really stand out in terms of customer service, which, um, you know, I haven't experienced because I haven't been signed up, this is a collab, but I think that I really appreciated that they said that and that they made it a point to like kind of think about that, you know, because I don't know, when I was looking at other brands in the past when I wanted to, when I was thinking about whether or not to do a collab, I saw so many bad reviews. I was like, um, I'll pass. So this is how they come. And I didn't open them, but I did cut um, the sticker just so that I don't have to do it on camera. And let's see what's in here. I hope I like the perfumes. I don't think as a collaborator, I get to exchange them. So I really hope I like them. And if I do like them, it would be cool to take to Europe with me. All right, so when you open it, it just looks like this. And I'll take out the papers first. So there is the order confirmation. There is a, a scent of the month, little piece of paper that they include. So it says for women, it's Moschino. Moschino, is that how you say it? Fresh Pink Couture the one that looks like Windex. And then for men, it's the Hugo Boss, Boss Bottled Tonic. Um, so these are the perfumes of the month, if you wanted to know. Then there is a coupon for 15% off big on, okay, full-size bottle. So I guess they also sell full-size bottles if you like any of the samples and you wanna buy it, which is pretty cool. So the code is THANKS15. And then on the back, it just has a thank you note. It says, we understand that it's customers like you who make our business successful. You are not just another order. You are a person we appreciate very much and we wanted to say thanks. Keep a lookout for special deals for upcoming orders. Thank you again for choosing Sandbox for all your fragrance needs. Les and, Les and Craig, the sand the scent bros so i guess these are the two people that came out with their brand and then they have a twitter and they have they have like all kinds of social media as well so that's kind of nice you know like a little thank you note and then here it says free exchange one free exchange shipment per month so you can send it back if you don't like the perfume you got and now digging in okay so you literally get a scent box um it's pretty nice it's like very kind of like sleek looking and inside are the two perfumes I chose. So I chose, and I was excited that they even have it. I've never seen that on a in a perfume subscription options. I chose Diptyque 34, which is named, it's a Diptyque perfume, which is, they're very expensive. So I figured, you know, if you're gonna choose something, like choose something expensive. 34 is their, I think it's like their original perfume. I know in Paris, they have like the mother store, the first store they ever had, and it's on 34. I think it's Saint Germain or Saint Germain Boulevard. That's the street address of the store. And so I think it's named, you know, like in honor of that. So I was really curious to try it. And there is, they usually sell diptyques at like uh, Neiman Marcus or uh, Nordstrom and the mall closest to me doesn't have these stores. So I couldn't just like go in and smell it. So that's this one and it has the name in the back. And then the other one I chose is the Escada, what is it called? Escada Cherry in the Air, because I'm pretty sure Kathleen Lights talked about it like last year, and I was curious how it smells. And also Escada perfumes are pretty popular, especially in the summer, so I figured I'll try it out and tell you guys if it's worth getting. Um, so let's try the 34 first. So it looks like this, it's gold. I don't know if they come in gold every month, or just like the first one, I don't know. But I like that it's two different ones and not just one. And then you have to like put the inside of this perfume in here. You know, like you can actually keep them both and use them both at the same time. And they're safe in there. So, okay, you can't smell anything yet. So you get this much. Um, they said that you get enough to use it for a month straight four sprays a day. I don't usually even use four sprays a day. So I think for me, it would last me probably like two or three months even. So let's do the 34 on this arm and the Scott on this arm. I feel like I've smelled this before. Oh my gosh, this smells so similar to the, um, the Diptyque Lumberdon 
perfume which I really love. It's very green and natural smelling. It's not like very perfumey at all. It's just natural. It smells very similar to that but like a little bit more muted and a little more musky. If you're familiar with the Lombardan by Diptyque or like the Bay Candle, this is what this smells like but it's like a mature, more musky version of it. I don't know the notes in it. I didn't like write those down or look them up but um, I'll leave the name of the perfume below if you want to check it out. I like it. It's very different. I kind of expected it to smell more um, manly. I don't know why. Like I just thought it would smell very unisex. It's definitely for women, at least in my opinion, but it's, it's a very green and natural but musky and mature at the same time. It's very interesting. I think I think I'll need to wear it for like a couple of hours and see how it settles before I decide if I love it. Totally not what I expected. All right, let's try the other one now. So again, this is Escada Cherry in the Air. And let's spray this one. And I'm really excited because Kathleen Lights is kind of like me in terms of being a perfume addict. So a lot of times when she talks about something, I'll pick it up. Um, oh my God, I love it. I I don't own any Escada perfumes. I only ever once got um, a little sample box of I think like four of them, but they're like this tiny. So I've never really had any full size bottles. Wow, this smells so good. Wow. Wait, let me... Oh my gosh, this is so good. This smells. It got in my mouth. I had to go get a bottle of water because I got perfume in my mouth, but this smells, it's so sweet, but it's not sugary sweet. It's not like vanilla sweet. It's not like the pink sugar perfume or um, Prada candy or anything like that. It just smells like sweet cherries mixed with like, I don't even know. It just, it's like a sweet fruity smell, but it's so addicting. Oh my gosh. It, oh, I don't know. I could like swim in it. It smells so good. I don't know what's... I wonder if there's some notes in it that are also in the Burberry Weekend because it has like that addicting smell. Maybe there is some tangerine or something. It smells really good. And I would never think to pick it up myself. I would never think to... Actually, I've never... I don't think I've really ever seen Escada perfumes in stores except for Ulta, but they have only like three cents. They don't have a lot. And I've never seen this one in person. So I really like it. Um, if you can find this, get it. If you are, if you like sweet, fruity, summery perfumes. I think this is really, really good for the summer. The other one is really nice too, but it's like completely polar opposite smells. This is youthful and sweet. And this is like musky and mature. So I really pick like two completely different kinds. Um, but I really like it. So um, the perfume looks like this and there isn't a name on here. And so I think that every time you get a perfume, you get one of these. Um, so yeah, you guys can check it out if you want to. And I'm excited to try them. I'm excited to wear this cherry in the air. It smells so, so good. But anyway, now moving on to the giveaway. So like I said, I did one in my July favorites and you guys were so excited. And one thing that I was kind of worried about is that people will just subscribe just to enter the giveaway and then just unsubscribe as soon as I announce the winner. And I really want people to only subscribe if they actually enjoy my channel, if they think, you know, they'll like my videos and want to stick around. Like I don't want people to just like enter see if they win and then leave. I really want this giveaway to be for someone who is a supporter and who really truly enjoys my channel. And I really haven't seen anyone leave after the other one. And so I feel like I got a bunch of really awesome new subscribers and I'm so grateful for it. And I wanna give back to you guys as much as I can. So I will be doing these giveaways in every favorites video. I will be throwing them in between other videos as well here and there. And also as soon as I hit 10,000 subscribers, I am doing a huge giveaway that includes multiple perfumes, that includes like Marc Jacobs, um, 
beauty set like I ordered a couple of things already for the giveaway and um, that will be open international to anyone that wants to enter but for this giveaway I decided that since I'm doing a perfume favorite and I want you guys to be able to pick out a new perfume for yourself to try out for this summer I will be giving away a $50 Sephora gift card and what I decided to do is instead of like going to the store and picking out the gift card, I will just email it to you. And so you can use it right away. As soon as I pick the winner, I will get your email address and I will email you the electronic gift card and you can just shop right then and there. Um, and because it is a gift card, purchased in the United States. I have contacted Sephora and I thought that this giveaway would be perfect for anyone in the world because it is electronic, but they told me that if I buy a gift card with US dollars, it can only be used in US and Canada. So it's only open to US and Canada. Just for this giveaway, I will be doing like I said, other ones that will be open to anyone in the world. So I wanted to do this so that you can go and pick out a new perfume of your own and um either whether it's like one of the ones I talked about or something completely different. And to answer, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my Instagram or follow me on Instagram and leave a comment down below with your Instagram name, which in my previous giveaway, I had to ask a couple of people. So make sure you include your Instagram name. Let me know that you did it and then leave me the name of your favorite perfume so that maybe I can check it out myself. So. Um, that's all you have to do to enter. The giveaway will be open for two weeks from the time that this video goes live. So I will um, put the date like in the description box and you'll know when it's open until. And again, just follow me here, follow my Instagram, which I'll leave down below. Leave me a comment letting me know that you did it and the name of your favorite perfume. That's all you have to do to enter and I will be sending a $50 Sephora gift card to one of you. And this giveaway, by the way, it's my own. It's not in collaboration with Sandbox or anything like that. So it will be purchased with my own money. Um, I just want to, you know, give back to you guys as much as I can. Um, and yeah, that concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.